Hello and welcome to Unit 4 where we'll be looking at sustainable production and consumption. So, so far in Unit 1 you've had a look at the UN SDGs and how they relate and cluster together to inform our decisions about sustainable planet that's good for planet, people and profit. In Unit 2 you had to think about corporate strategy and the opportunity to use a scorecard to be able to measure progress against the SDGs as you also continue to have your business practices. In Unit 3, we had a look at the role of sustainable trade and how that influences you and your company and how you can influence the planetary outcomes through the way that you responsibly procure and the way that you use your materials. In this unit then, we're going to be having a look at the concept of life cycle and what it actually means when we do that sustainable trade in terms of the embodied energy and the embodied pollution and pollutants that we might inadvertently uh, create. You're going to be looking at shifting from the thinking around cradle to grave, which is ultimately landfill, to cradle to cradle, which is around keeping stuff or keeping things in society for longer rather than ending up as being waste. So you'll become familiar with this particular diagram that my colleague Michael Braungart created as a brainstorm in an effort to explain what we mean by cradle to cradle. You can see here on the diagram that we have responsible extraction at the commencement of the journey and as we source, manufacture, distribute, use and then think about effectively using and recycling our goods and materials, we ultimately have this conversation around landfill. You'll learn about design for recycling, design for disassembly and design for repair as being concepts that you could learn much more about and enable within your organisations to reduce ultimately the amount of stuff going to landfill and the amount of pollutants entering our environmental systems. Actually, reducing the amount that goes to landfill at the end of the day is great for people and great for communities because it encourages employment, resilience, business growth and skill development inside our workforce. So as you become familiar with that diagram, in this unit you will have the opportunity to apply it to a case study. And in this case it's the cane industry. Don't worry about the diagram at the moment, but you will become familiar with how in any one organisation you can create this kind of flowchart to think about where you can reduce resources, reduce energy use and keep your outputs from ending up in landfill. The other aspect in this unit that's important to consider is the role of lean and green in the conversation around consumption and production. So our colleagues have been actually doing quite a bit of work in recognising the difference between green and lean. So while something might be efficient, it may not actually be good for the environment unless you incorporate green. So thinking about the UN SDGs and where inside of that we can use lean and green thinking and then use these tools as they're available for us to think about waste, water, energy, emissions and chemicals is really key to going on that journey of sustainable business practice. So with this in mind, in this unit you will understand the concepts of sustainable production and consumption, including the concept of something we called industrial symbiosis, which is the cane study that I spoke about previously. You'll become aware of the SDGs that are related to sustainable production and consumption. And you'll be familiar with policy and practice opportunities for different business areas, including, for example, infrastructure, planning, waste management, public procurement and tourism. With this knowledge, we look forward to you embarking on your journey to embed the SDGs within your businesses, wherever it may be and whatever you may be doing on this tiny blue planet hanging in space. Thank you for joining us on this MOOC journey and all the best.